Morning traders. A bit late this morning. We have been up trading this evening, so we had a bit of a late start today. Uh, as I'm sure you all know, we sort of got what we wanted uh, with the whole complex here. Dollar Swiss 99.58 now. We had a nice move. Through 20, big down move back to 12, but then a grind higher. Now we're through 50, which is what we consider a key level. Uh, and now there's not much to do. You want to get your average as best as you can and wait for non-farms today. There's not there's not much more uh, action going to happen in in the dollar. Um, so we don't want to toot our horn too much about being long dollars. We just want to just point out that everything has broken. 113.15, as we talked about yesterday, was key. Now we're at 42. It should be offers at 50. Don't really expect. Um, don't really expect too much craziness. Um, considering it's pre non farm. It's a good cable, wild night obviously with this possible Irish border deal. Up to one thirty five twenty one, back down to one thirty four fifty six. Now we're at ninety. Very, very tough to trade this cable. Um, not sure what to do with it obviously. Related to that is our favorite Sterling Swiss pair. This broke through 33 with news, and we've really never really seen it back. If you're watching closely, you did notice that we went up to 90 and then went all the way back to 20. Sorry. This move here. So we went up to 84 and then all the way back to 29 on some sort of like news bomb just to show it's never easy foreign exchange is never easy trading is never easy um, but assuming you survive this this little 30 second suicide bomb you're comfortably long sterling swiss you probably want to sell half of that position just to get your average much much better and then you now are looking to buy it back into 133.33 which is now support. Equities are higher as I'm sure everybody knows there's going to be no government shutdown. Uh, this is all tax related news. Looks like this is going to get done in the next two weeks. There's no trade here, so I don't know why I'm even talking about it, but um, equities are higher. Aussie printed a 7501 low, so we, we kind of got what we wanted uh, yesterday. We were talking about that sort of 90 figure to su support. Uh, this is a sell on rally now. Not much juice through the lows and break trading this after two big red days. I want to kind of just want to sell this between sort of 22 and 42 today. Uh, keep your core short with a better average. Uh, and that's that sterling yen. Tricky, tricky fella here. This thing has been like the bane of our existence recently. We just printed a new high. 153.33, but here we are back again, right at the breakout level. Uh, 152.96, after going all the way down to 65. How in the world do you hold a position in sterling yen? I don't know. But a daily close above 153, and, and this thing is ready to roll. Uh, only for the brave. What else is out there? Let's just have a quick look at gold. Well, first let's look at dollar turkey. We're, <coughs> we're still waiting for this sort of 
confirmation breakthrough 38385 even though we printed 68 where we don't really count that because it was in very 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 low liquidity back through 38385 should produce more of a down move and last but not least gold on its knees it's offered we've had now one two three four red days so let's not get carried away and it's non-farm we definitely do not want to be break trading this through the lows effectively you probably want to be trading this for some sideways movement between 50 and 60 and then we'll see where the next move comes after the next couple of days all right non-farms today so uh we're going to keep risk pretty low in, in, on the European side in the morning. We will talk to you closer to the event for the New York Open. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.